Ashman's lights are bright. Oh, I'm supposed to move on. So, first build video. Um, we're going to be building a Taro TL300B um, from Banggood. Arms are kind of flimsy. We'll uh, we'll check those out later and see how thick they are. They look like two mil. Uh, we're not really expecting to crash this much. It's got really kind of thin arms on it. Uh, but I looked around to see if there was any, if there were any reviews online. I couldn't find any. Um, I didn't see anything on YouTube. The all the Terra 300 stuff was for something else. Um, so we're going to build this, and let's get started. Okay. Ta-da! This is what I got from Bingo today. I got a whole bag of stuff. This is the Taro TL300B. Quad copter frame. This is what you get. Got. I haven't even really looked at this. This looks like a top frame. Uh, yeah, that probably goes like that. Okay, I see. I see, see what's going on there. I smell what they're stepping in. This goes over gravity. Don't know what that means. Is that a series? And this is Taro Iron Man. I have heard of the Iron Man, but that was a larger like hexacopter or octocopter. I wonder if this is a reused part. I don't know. I haven't I haven't found anything about this frame. The only thing I I, I saw was on. Uh, I just saw it on Banggood. That was it. So we have one top plate, one mid plate. It's gonna go like this. One vibration damped camera mount. It goes on there like that. Okay. Um this up a little bit, get some more light on the subject. Uh, so this would go underneath like that, and this would be a bottom plate, I'm guessing, where the battery goes. So probably sandwiches like this. This looks like it might be bent. It is. It's a little misshapen. I don't know if you guys can see that. This side, is it's it's torqued like this a little bit. That's all right. We'll just, that's probably from shipping. One front arm set, I believe. One back arm set. So let's take a look at this and see how this goes. This is the time. Here we go. Real simple frame, really. Oh no. English and Chinese. I'm going to start here on one, see what they call that. Before the machine arm. I guess that means front arms. Is there behind the machine arms then? <laughs> Let's check it out. They call these. They don't have a name for it. So I'm going to assume this is these are the front arms. And this goes on. Okay. And this guy goes on top of that. Well, first these arms go on. It looks like these point in. Kind of funny looking, but Oh no, I'm looking at the wrong way. These go this way. And this goes on. Yep, sure enough. Goes on like that. 
This goes on the bottom. And this is tilting motor mount set. Why did it? So here's, here's what we got. We got two of these motor mounts for 2204 motors. Don't know what that is. Quality sticker. Yeah. They're a looks like about a 10 degree pit, 10 or 12, 12 degrees, 12 degree pitch. Where's out of there? I don't really have the light for this, but so those go on there, but they they only send you one set, and that's the way it comes. That's normal. So I'm not exactly sure why you put one set of motors. I'm sorry, one set of uh, ramps, motor mounts on your motors. It's strange to me. And it looks like we have something else in here I don't understand, which is this guy. I don't know what this is. It looks like it's for a, a power distribution board. Oh, I see. I bet this comes as a kit. They've got some electronics already installed in the bottom there. Four shaft hub. I'm sure that's just a misinterpretation. It's probably a four motor hub, and they're talking about the um, power distribution. Well, that did not come with the kit. Mine doesn't have it. Um, I'll be using some other stuff. Actually, let me lay that stuff out too. Okay, so here we go. There's the frame. There's the hardware. Set that aside. Going to be using these uh, ZTW Spider 18 amp ESCs. I've used these a lot. Well, a lot. I've only been doing this for since last June, so what, less than a year? Yeah, about 10 months. Uh, I've used about four sets of these, and they're all still going strong. I've there's I've got one that's bad right now, but that's because I shorted it. Uh, across the frame, a carbon frame. Well, one of the videos I posted right before this one was about all the wrecks, all the crashing I did out of Gordon Moore. It's like a two-parter. Um, I finally got that back together, and it, I had to modify it pretty extensively. And when I did that, I had carbon fiber laying over the, um, they call it the through the machine part, the power distribution board that lays on the bottom of the tarot. Um, well, here. There you go. So on this board, they have these. It's a, a PCB inside of here that has the traces embedded inside of it. Well, I had to modify the front of this frame inside here. You guys probably won't be able to see that, but inside of there, I had to do some pretty extensive modification. You'll see all sorts of different hardware and screwy looking things in here. But it's 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 wicked strong now. The thing's not going anywhere. I could crash. Um, twice as hard as what I did on last weekend and you know, I think it would survive but the point is when I laid these carbon uh, arms back in here this PDB got pushed sideways when it did that it pushed my board on the inside across to this frame that it's mounted to and the traces actually shorted out on the carbon because I'm sure you guys know carbon fiber is conductive so I, um, I fried my ESC I basically shorted straight across from, you can see where I had to cut it and run a wire. I just ran a wire directly through and cut the trace on the inside there so it wasn't shortened. Um, but So this is a signal wire that comes from this ESC, which I'm going to have to replace. Uh, so other than that, I've been real happy with those guys. That wasn't their fault, that was mine. So ESCs, Spider ZTW 18 Amp. Um, in the center, I'm going to have one of these Matek power distribution boards. Let me get it out of there. There we go. 
There we go. So these guys are pretty cool. I forget they're like five bucks from Banggood. Um, positive, negative. Um, you have a, a five volt back and a 12 volt back. Um, has these little e LED pads here that, that are on a switch. So that's the cool thing. You can actually turn your LEDs off if you're flying during the day and don't want to burn up your battery or use it up. You just uh, flip the little switch and turns the LEDs off. Um, and there's your 5 volt out and your 12 volt out. So that's the PDB I'll be using. Uh, motors will be these Multistar Elites. Now I I didn't even look these up. It was just they were just so cheap for a multi-star elite. I was like, dude, we gotta give that a shot. I think it was 65 bucks for this set of four uh, with everything that comes with it, right? Can't really beat that. Um, so I'm gonna give them a shot. Comes with your uh, I'm gonna call them banana jacks, I forget what they call them. Uh, bullet connectors, that's what they call them. Already installed on there. So we're gonna give those a shot. These are, I think they're 2100. They're 2206s and they're 2150s. And this is a clockwise, counterclockwise set. Which is all right, I prefer them all to just go one way. I don't like having to mess with the fact that one's clockwise and one's counterclockwise and have to use different threaded tops on them. I'd rather use lock nuts and have them all be just clockwise, normal threaded, right hand thread. Um, but you know, hey, 65 bucks, can't beat that. And, well, oh. Video transmitter, this is going to be FPV. So my transmitter is uh, Lumineer TX5G6R. I should really pay attention when I'm sticking this stuff. TX5G6R. It's a 40 channel race band, 600 milliwatt. Um, it's the same thing I've got in that tarot. This is the first good transmitter, video transmitter that I had. Um, I had it on the other tarot, the uh, 280C. And I don't really, I didn't really push it. And I think I had it out to, geez, it had to have been a thousand foot, probably 300 yards, and it was crystal clear. You know, uh, it was way better than anything I'd experienced before. So I went ahead and got another one for this. There may be better stuff out there. I don't know, but this works. For, oops, this works for me because I'm going to be, um, you know, the new FAA rules. I'm just going to be flying line of sight, and you know, a thousand feet, you pretty much. Just looks like a speck unless you've got super bright lights on it. Um, camera. Put this up. Uh, there we go. Lumineer CM650 Mini. 650 TV line, 26 by 26 camera. Um, same thing, I'm just mimicking the setup that I had on the Terra because it worked so well. It worked really well until I <laughs> until I flew it into a goalpost at about 50 miles per hour. Um, do, you, do I still have that laying around? I do. There's the pieces. There's some lens. There's the lens that came flying off. Um, this is, I believe, was, yeah, that was the board. You know, this was all housed in this nice plastic housing it just exploded and pieces went flying you'll see the chip is even completely missing from the back um, the DSP chip there's supposed to be a big uh, black square in the middle of this board I need to work on my lighting so it's gone um, there's some of the casing toast And antenna. This is a, a Duraspec left hand circular polarized. I use left hand circular polarized on everything just because the right hand was so popular for so long. It's more likely you guys will have the right hand. 
But look at that. Look how beefy that is. This is the first time I've taken this out of the box. Look at that sucker. That is awesome. Yeah, that is beefy and stiff. Yeah. And then King Kong 6040 props. I like the 6040s. I like the lift you get with them. I like how quiet they are. Uh, when you're running at low, just kind of cruising around at uh, low speed on the motors. Um, and these King Kongs are monsters. My goodness, you can beat the crud out of those and they just keep coming back for more. Love them. So I think that's everything gear wise although I'm not going to get started building tonight but it won't make a difference to you guys because it'll be a split second but I'm going to have to clean this up because I don't know if you guys can see this this is a mess I've been working <laughs> here hold on turn on some lights So, I've been just doing a whole lot of working on these quads, and not a whole lot of cleaning. So, just built that guy over the weekend. Um, there's a Taro, I had to completely tear him down and rebuild him. That guy up there, I had to put a new uh, video system in it because I crashed him and busted the transmitter. I say that like it was a big deal. I was just putting a new transmitter in there. But it was back when I really had no idea what I was doing. So it was a lot harder than it needed to be. But, I don't know if you guys can see all the little bitty pieces. I need to get that all cleaned up. That's just, that's too much. That drives me batty. So, when I come back, this will be clean, or at least cleaner, and we'll start building.